Welcome back, everyone, to Danganronpa Goodbye to Spare. Danganronpa. Episode 23. So today we're going to be doing the trial of Nekomaru Nidai. Oh, beautiful boy in the background there. So most of you know, the trials are normally pretty long. I have no idea how long Nekomaru's is going to be. So this is either going to be a two-parter or just one episode. We don't know yet. So this may be episode 23. A whole or who knows. I don't think I want to use any of my hope fragments yet. I think I'm pretty good with the skills I've got. So let's just get into it. Trial. All rise. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. Hideous During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. Know, if you I vote know. correctly, know. This then is only the, the blackened will receive Monica punishment. Monica. This is but second game. I will punish ball. everyone besides works. the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. We know. I'm sure you guys are starving by now, but let's get revved up and raring to go. Yeah, talk about the starving thing. Whoever survives will be treated to a fancy lunch. Guess what? Rabbit curry is on the menu. Huh? I'm not the main ingredient, right? Oh, I'm here today because Coach Nekomaru risked his life. Yeah, this is very personal for Akane. I'm going to be the one who avenges him. I'll definitely find out who the killer is. Yeah, this is very personal for Akane. I'm definitely not tempted by curry. Got it? <laughs> oh, Akane. Akane, you seem to have an impressive amount of drool flowing from your mouth. Hey, why don't we try going over the incident? We weren't able to leave Strawberry House, so I want to make sure we get a detailed understanding. Good going um, for you, Hiko. I discovered Nekomaru's body a little before 7 a.m. I headed over to Grape Tower from Monokuma Taichi and found the body there. Hajime and Chiaki were also with me. Yep. Hajime was with Miss Sonia and Dude, Chiaki that no. early in the morning? Don't you dare. Don't tell me you three were together since last night! Where'd you get that idea? Also, I am not some woman with flexible legs! See, now you've insulted her. Uh, of course you're not. You're much classier than that. With legs like those, I could probably do the splits real easy. We just happened to run into each other on the first floor of Grape House and went to the yeah, tower so together. What are you thinking? Our bedrooms are all really close to each the other. The three Plus of us discovered Nekomaru's body. The body discovery announcement was made soon after. Akane heard that and rushed over. We heard the body discovery announcement too, from Strawberry House, obviously. As I recall, we found out the elevator was out of order, which left us stuck. So we decided to go to the tower for the time being and headed for Strawberry Hall. But that was someone blocked. even broke Strawberry Hall's door button. We couldn't go anywhere because of that. Mm -hmm, Thinking mm -hmm. we should at least find some method to communicate, we set our sights on the lounge telephone. I just my microphone. Sorry if that reverberates. Forget these boring intros. Let's talk about the killer. I like to fit it with my hands. Anyway. When I'm it's thinking. definitely someone from Strawberry House. So when I'm not controlling the mouse, <laughs> definitely. I'm feeling me There's with like no a way a chick would kill someone so cruelly. And I still so it must be one of you Sorry Strawberry House dudes. Whoa, one of you better hurry down. up and confess. Do you not remember Mika? All of you in half. Mika was pretty brutal. You're the cruelest one here. <laughs> now, now, enough with the lovers' quarrel. <laughs> we need to think about this seriously. We don't have the luxury of discussing irrelevant things. The incident this time has many questions. The incident notwithstanding, I also have many questions. Then let's start with something even Miss Sonia can understand. The weapon. Stop acting as if she's dumb. Well, the weapon is obvious, right? Is it? Or is it made to look obvious? Huh. I could just stop saying huh. What the heck, you guys? The weapon! You could totally tell. Oh, I accidentally skipped it. You could tell the, what the weapon is, upset looking. He thinks it's the hammer. To be fair, it would seem like it's the hammer since 
big heavy hammer dents in Nekomaru's body. I don't blame Kazuichi for thinking it's the hammer. I guess we should figure out the weapon first. The weapon was right there at the scene of the crime! That pillar, huh? Oh, I was trying to skip No, it. the hammer! The killer used that hammer and beat the crap out of him! Nope, nope, press the weapon! Press the weapon! If it was unexpected, Damn I suppose it. that is possible. That's ah. right! It was a surprise beating! The weapon is decided! No. Sorry, Kazuichi, it's not the hammer, but I can understand why you think it's the hammer. I guess we should figure out the weapon first. I mean, it would the seem like the hammer right if there was just the some crime. blood on it. That pillar, huh? No, the hammer! The killer used that hammer and beat the crap out of him! Sorry, Kazuichi, no, that's not it. Fair to assume it would be the hammer, but the only thing is, the hammer doesn't have any of the oil no. on it. I can't accept that that hammer was the murder weapon. Why not? Why can't you accept it? Because it's wrong. A lot of oil was flowing from Nekomaru's body. Just like human blood, right? If the hammer was used to beat Nekomaru, you'd expect some oil to be on it at least. But that hammer was clean. So that's why you can't accept that it's the murder weapon. Exactly. Yeah, but the killer might have wiped off the oil later. Why? And why'd they leave it there if that was their plan? They didn't want well, the hammer to be found. obviously, to make the hammer look like it's not the murder weapon. Then why'd they leave it there? Poor Kazuichi. He's perceived as such an idiot. Like, he's not an idiot. He's just really smart at certain things. Then he's really smart with the mechanics. Oil. If not they didn't murder. want it to look suspicious, they would have discarded the hammer. Well, Kazuichi just isn't smart with murder, but he's smart with You're mechanics. Really insightful, baby gangster. What? <laughs> oh, that's cute. Baby gangster, that's perfect. Baby gangster? Me? I like the way they say gangster. Gangster. Just so you all know, I was trying to test you guys. Oh, Kazuichi. Baby boy. I thought maybe you guys mistook the hammer for the weapon or something. Hey, it's okay. You thought it was a weapon. Seems that was a waste of time. Then what was the real weapon used to murder Nakamaru? You don't know. That's yet. the problem. There wasn't anything else at the crime scene that looked like a potential weapon. Then, how about we look at it from a different angle? If it doesn't have oil on it, it's not the weapon. So whatever has oil on it must be the weapon, right? But for something at the crime scene that oil on it, I see. the broken pillar is suspicious. I know that, but I don't know the how. The only thing with oil on it is that broken pillar. Then that pillar is the weapon. Coach Nakamaru got clobbered with that pillar. Nobody could withstand a blow from that pillar. Even if you used 100% of your muscle strength, it would be impossible to wield it as a weapon. Why? We tried to move it, right? Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah, that pillar was pretty freaking heavy. But there's one dude who could have lifted that pillar. Huh? Who are you talking about? Coach Nekomaru's robot body! With that dude's super strength, lifting a pillar would be real easy. So, he lifted the pillar, and then what? Did he use it to beat himself? It's trying to insinuate he... You mean, he... Nekomaru killed himself? That's what I was trying to insinuate, but I don't think that's don't it. Don't be stupid! He ain't the type to commit suicide! Oh, that's the trigger I need to put then in. And even if Nekomaru could have lifted that pillar, it has nothing to do with the case at all. Well, I guess you're right. No, I feel like it is important. The heck? Maybe just not the way you think. Maybe it was tipped over or something. But it does bother me a little. That word. By the way, the fourth murder of the school killing life was ruled a suicide. Huh? Uh, that shouldn't matter. There's no way Nekomaru would commit that. 
I don't like saying it, but I will if I have to. It's a very big issue. If you're considering it, please, for your own life, for your own health and safety, please call help. Sorry, I'm not really sure what to do with speeches like that. But if you're thinking about harming yourself, please get help. But that's a Talk problem. to a friend, a if family, it's not the pillar, teacher, then anyone there's no you other can. Weapon we can think of. That's all I have to say. Um, that. there may be a way to use the pillar as a weapon without lifting it. Hey, just push it over. Huh? For reals? Yes, for reals. <laughs> Sonia, you're so See? cute. So my gut was right after all. All right, it's up to you, Sonia. Prove that pillar was the murder weapon. Understood. Then I shall give it my all. <laughs> oh, Sonia, so Sonia, cute. here I go. <laughs> oh, she's adorable. Let's see, let's see. There's no need to lift that pillar. If the pillar was not lifted, beating him with it is beyond a dream. Hmm. What about tipping the pillar over? Yes. They aimed right for his head and bullseye. Ah, but that's Even not what he I was. Even I could probably tip it over. But that's not where it was. Considering the pillar's weight, it probably exerted a ton of force. But where his Sonya, head was. Sonia, you go, girl. <laughs> I'm getting pilla, hella pilla. excited. I think it's pillar fragments. It's about it. There was fragments under him, but not There's on top no of him. There's no need to lift that pillar. But if you had if tipped the pillar, the pillar lifted, over on top of him, there would have been fragments on him. him with it is beyond a dream. Plus, how'd the blood get on top of the pillar if his body was closer to the bottom no, of the pillar? Wrong. If Nekomaru was crushed by the pillar, then there should have been fragments on top of his body. That's huh? made so smart. Fragments? Honestly, why isn't he the, the ultimate fragments detective were in this? beneath Nekomaru's body. But there weren't any on top of his body. Exactly. If it was on top, then maybe he would have crushed by the pillar, but it, he's on If the pillar had been tipped it. over and crushed him, Ugh. the fragments should have been on top of his body instead. I briefly considered that too, but it's probably not what happened. I, it's okay, I see. Sonya. That was entirely. No, you had bad. a good idea going. If they didn't tip it over. Then how did the killer murder Nekomaru with that pillar? How much longer are you gonna focus on the pillar? Just let it go already! No, it's important. We'll figure it out eventually. There, there's no way I can let it go. I'm positive that Nekomaru was killed by that pillar. Why are you so certain about that? I just have a feeling. A feeling, huh? That's just your instincts. But she we can't trust say for instincts. sure that that instinct is wrong, can we? Sakitara, I don't even want to talk to you. Huh? There's another way to use that pillar to kill. You guys just haven't noticed it. Is that true? Then I shall ask you, what way is that? <sighs> Nagata, no, you get over guys. yourself. The same as usual. What do you expect the teenagers in a murder game? You're unable to clear a path to the future with your own powers. They aren't so you just crime scene stand investigators. There and I could just shut up. What a waste of talent. And you all intend to fight the future foundation? Bruce said anything you about fighting the foundation. We just want to leave. What did you say? Regardless, it's not like I want to die with the rest of you. So I guess I should lend a hand. Stop being so cryptic hey, and Nagita. just tell us. What the hell happened to you? How come you're not talking like a lunatic anymore? He is talking like a lunatic. I've learned a valuable lesson. Ignorance is by far the greatest shame. Oops, I got <gasps> my time. What do you mean? Who cares? Just tell us how the pillar was used to kill! What do you well, expect from that? They're not crime all, scene investigators. The pillar itself is not enough. No one here is the ultimate detective. When combined with the specific There's no cure item, Giri. There's a way it could be possible. You mean the a wire? specific item? Of course, the ultimate weapon. Oh, I thought they was talking about the wire. Ultimate weapon? Isn't that the thing you get when you clear the final dead room? So, Nagito knows what the ultimate weapon is? 
Of course I know. But I'm pretty sure everyone else has seen it, you know? How? None of us have claimed We've it. You've seen it? That's right. You've seen it clearly. Because I, the one who has claimed <laughs> God, dominion God, no. over evil, am uh, the ultimate weapon. I love him. I love I Gundam. I am he who cuts the insolent catalyst <laughs> which flows out from the chaos with the sword of victory. It just makes me smile, you know? It's only fitting that I deserve to be called the ultimate weapon. No, you are far greater than the ultimate weapon since you wield your four oh, dark so gifts cute. of destruction. <laughs> I, I see. Oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> it's so cute. I don't know why, but I'm not liking this. Oh, Kazuichi. <laughs> Cut the bullshit and say it clearly. What is the ultimate weapon? In order to clarify that, we first need to solve the secret of the funhouse. Oh my god, huh? stop encrypting. The Just secret tell of the us. Fun house? You still don't realize it? Jeez, get it together. Shut up. You're supposed to be the symbols of hope, aren't you? Shish. Oh, don't you dare. You're gonna bring it up, aren't you? Ah, I forgot. Except God for damn Hajime, it, I knew of course. it. Stop it! Stop being a jerk. Except for Hajime? This is not the time. Talk about it later. You don't have to bring this up right now, you jerk. Uh, uh, I can like Biakia. He's one of those characters that a lot of people love, but he's so annoying. We make it out of this. But I I'll actually like Biakia. I do not like Nakito. Anyway, we must first clarify the secret of the Funhouse, right? Because at least Biakia will learn his lesson later in life. Then I think it must have something life. to do with the structure of the Funhouse. By the end of the first game, Biakia had changed. Strawberry House Slowly. leads to Strawberry Tower, and Grape Could House change. leads to Grape Tower. That's but in what actuality, understanding. they are both the same building, and both houses are linked to the Central Tower. That's what we think so far, but we may be wrong. It is undeniable that such a sweet building structure is the secret of the funhouse. <laughs> He's adorable. Yeah. Not only does that make perfect sense, but Miss Sonia's beautiful voice is just so soothing. Full Calm down. Show. I shall leave this matter to your discretion. I want to give her a hug. She's so adorable. Two outhouses connected to town in the middle. How does that finding proof that completely contradicts that? <laughs> yep. Let's see what it is, because I'm not entirely sure. Um. In truth, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the exact same place. Yeah, uh, that's so that's the, the secret same. of the Funhouse. Is that I really don't it? No. What am I supposed to put here? It's weird to say they're both the same place. I mean, the walls are different colors. Yes, but we figured that out. And the designs on the floor are also different. We've already settled this problem. Give it ten years before you argue with Miss Sonia. <laughs> Wait, what am I supposed to shoot at? In truth, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the exact same place. What am I supposed to- Oh, no, Sonia? That wrong. was a fluke. That was a, that's a fluke. Both of those towers, are they really the same place? Why are you asking that now? Do you harbor a grudge because my kingdom destroyed your homeland? Um, um ex excuse Kajime, me, what? I won't tolerate any sort of rebellion. What? I mean, doesn't it seem strange? Sorry, Sonia, go back to that. What was that about you destroying my homeland? When we went to Grape Tower from what Grape Hall, talking about? Nekomaru's body was in front of the door to Strawberry Hall. Yeah. Oh right, when we went there, they it was switched but over. When we went to Strawberry Tower. From it was Strawberry really weird. Hall, his body was in front of the door to Grape Hall. Like the Hall. floor moved. It's probably some kind of trick, like the floor rotating 180 degrees or something. But if why? If it is, then see, that means it could have passed as the exact same place, right? If so, then what? Do you seriously think such a simple answer is the correct answer? Do you have all the answers? Why don't you just Does tell us instead of being wrong? a jerk? Oops, I guess I've said too much. Nah. If the floor didn't rotate, then that means we need to think about the structure of the building again. Bow down! 
Then how about this? Somebody moved Nekomaru's body. While oh, we Sonya were moving Nar. from Grape Tower to Strawberry Tower? Yeah, wouldn't we, should we have, have noticed? Been together during that time? Even if they tried to move the body inside the tower. Then Monokuma did it. Plus, there's While no way we they would moving, be able to move Monokuma Nekomaru. Monokuma moved things around. But Nekomaru's body wasn't the only thing moved. Are you saying the broken pillar was moved too? If it is too heavy to carry, let them roll it. Just like if there is no bread, let them eat cake. Calm down. But like, there's no way someone would have been able to move Nekomaru's body, the pillar, and everything else within that short amount of time. There Plus, are what many about the oil? Ways. The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was Monokuma's doing. That would take him way too long. Moving the body and the pillar in such a short time. That might be hard even for Monokuma, don't you think? It seems you have forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly squeezing the power of the futuristic robo with the pillar of the body. He could have moved it all easy as pie. I have to use oil on the floor on the second one. It seems you have forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly squeezing the power of the pillar, the body, everything at the cr Allow what about the oil? Knows the blood. Moving the body and pillar is possible, but it would have been impossible to move the oil on the floor. Huh? Plus, Monokuma would have no reason to move him. When the position of Nekomaru's body and the pillar changed, the oil surrounding his body moved too. Physically moving all of the oil like that is simply not possible, no matter how you look at it. Then it's impossible to think it was moved. I, oh, Sonya. I am terribly sorry. I cannot believe I got so fired up. It's all right. A fired up Miss Sonia is awesome to watch. So what really happened? Does that mean the two towers aren't the same building? Not sure. Mm. We can't be certain of that either. Because the the the. How did the body get to it if it was in a different place? Not when the experiment involving the handbook I left on the tower floor was a complete success. Exactly. It's like... Yeah, the e-handbook was still there. That's why we thought the two towers were the same building. So they connected, I just don't know how. We'll figure it out. If they're not the same building, or two different buildings, then what are they? Um... Hmm... Hmm... Hmm. No idea, huh? <laughs> this mystery ties into the secret of the fun house. But we don't have enough clues to solve that mystery. Nagato. Because Nagato's being a. Nah. And the only person- Oh no, I don't want to talk to Nak Nagito. He's gonna do it. That's gonna be awkward. Hachime doesn't want to- hey, Nagito. I thought it would come to this. I Stop knew my turn was being a baby! Fine. Just tell us. I'll tell you guys a big hint that can help you solve the secret of the funhouse. Well, you can just tell Give us the, the secret! Answer. Not a friggin' hint! But then it wouldn't mean anything. I need you guys to do this class trial properly. Shut up, we've been doing it probably for it's the last three. It's also important for me because it will help me... determine something. What about the last three trials? Was that not enough for you? Is he talking about the traitor? So, why did not just say that all of a sudden? Did something happen to him? But how do we know your hint is any good? Did he say something else it's in that file that, you're that we don't know about? I have Maybe he lied about the that. fact that Hachime's profile is the only one in there. The reason I'm the only one who knows it is because I was the only one who performed the appropriate action. Did you now? He's talking about the life learning game. I see. You're talking about the final dead room, right? You cleared the life threatening game there and found something, didn't you? That's right. The hint is what I saw after I cleared it. Tell us, you idiot. In the depths of the final dead room, there was a hidden room surrounded by concrete. 
And there, a small conspicuous window waited, all by itself. From that window, I saw some very strange scenery. What will we underwater? Strange scenery? Instead of explaining it, it might be faster just to show you. At an opportune time, I found a perfect camera in the final dead room. Did you? You took a picture? Show us. Yep. Show us. Nagita grinned creepily as he received a small digital camera from his inner pocket. See? This is it. As he said that, he showed us a peculiar picture. Oh, Let we're in like a forest? You again. Where is this? I took this picture on the first floor of Strawberry House. From the secret room within the final dead room. But don't you think it's We're weird? We're on the first floor. Why is it so high? And why can I see that the tower over there has further is what down? You guys have been thinking. Then there's lots of things that don't make sense in this picture, right? Correct. Oh, she went so cryptic and annoying. Then lots let's things. begin. Shall I call it? Thinking time. Stop. Doesn't make sense. Really stop. Um, everything. Uh, the building. Crap. Damn. Okay. That. Um, the fact that there's no building behind it. Oh, I'm trying to point Crap. out the fact that there's more levels. The fact there's no building behind it. If the structure of the fun house is what we thought it was, Grape House and Strawberry House should link to the tower in the middle. Which means, if you're viewing the tower from Strawberry House, you should see Grape House behind it. But in this photo, I don't see anything behind the tower. No shadow, no shape, no Grape House at all. I see. And is that it? No. Like you, sure, you have to admit, despite the fact that Hajime is a reserve course student, he's quite amazing at this. Honestly, his talent should be crime scene investigator. The yeah. ultimate crime solver. You said this photo was taken from the hidden room inside the final dead room, right? If that's the case, then that means it should have been taken from the first floor of Strawberry House. Yeah, it should have been. Then, this is definitely strange. Please elaborate. This photo doesn't the rest look of the like class. it was taken from the first floor. The angle suggests it was taken yeah, from higher up. Yeah, because of the By the way, where is this? That's right. Good call. In summary, this is the truth contained in this photo. The first floor of Strawberry House is located in a high area, and Grape House is not behind the tower. Um. It's not? Are you saying that Grape House is merely an illusion spell cast by Monokuma's cursed eye? No, because we've been sleeping From this it. point on, do your own thinking. Now that you've finally met the same requirements as me... Oh, pshish. If you guys are truly symbols of hope, you can easily solve a simple mystery like this. Ah, shut it up. It might be possible for Hajime to solve it too. Even though he's just a normal Stop high school student. Stop bringing that up. It's not important. Yeah, Jack. Despite the fact that you don't have a real talent. Stop it. You already know about the other clue. Leave him alone. I mean, when he popped up out of nowhere, like a magician. No, not a magician, like a cockroach. Pops up out of nowhere. You're referring to when you suddenly appeared on the second floor of Grape House, right? I'm Next asking you just to be safe. At the time, where do you think I came from? The top floor, right? Hell. Such sharp eyes. So you realized it already. The top floor. So the third floor? But the Monokuma Archive should be the so, only room on the third floor of Grape House. The first floor of Strawberry what House does it mean? is connected to the third floor of Grape Tower? Of Grape House, I mean? Good 
because the, the trap door. The trap door we found. Logic dive, let's go. Yeah, logic dive, let's go. I like this game. Jump! Oh, I jumped too soon. Okay, that was my own fault. Jump! Jump! Speed is key! That is a Jacksepticeye reference. Don't say I'm copying him. I'm just referencing. Oh, god damn it. I love watching Jacksepticeye's videos. I really hope one day he plays down on Rumpa. Do they exist? Yes, they both exist. I don't know if he'd be interested in this kind of game. I think it'd be funny to watch, but if he's not interested in it, then I'm not going to make him. Then it's like, whatever. Can't be mad at the guy for not liking the game. You know? Do, 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 do. Question two. Are Strawberry House and Grape Tower and Grape House the same building in two different buildings? They are the same building. Please be right, please be right, please be right. Yes, they're the same. They're like they're floors. It's like an an elevator or something. Part of my room. Speed. Question three. How is Strawberry House and Grape House positioned with each other? Um, vertically. It's up and down. Ooh. Yahoo! Into the rainbow swell we go. It's all coming together. Project Level reminds me of like the Chaos Zone in Sonic games, where you like get the Chaos Emeralds. I know the secret of the Fun House. Uh, that now you let me hear it. What kind of answer will you give, I wonder? Ah, shut up. In the picture Nagito took from Strawberry House, I didn't see Grape House at all. Because we're on top so of it. where did Grape House go? There was only one possibility. It was in a position where it couldn't be seen from Strawberry House. Which means Strawberry House and Grape House are in the same building, but on different floors. Same building? Different floors? Then the two houses aren't two different three story buildings. They're actually one six story building? Yep. If you think about it like that, based on Nagito's picture, it's clear where Strawberry House is located. Strawberry House is located is the floors below Grape House. I oh, see. the floors above it. I mean, God damn it. I meant the floors above. On top of Grape House. That's where Strawberry House is located. Yes, Hajime. Because of turn. that, the photo taken from the first floor of Strawberry House was at a high angle. Altogether, this means the first floor of Strawberry House is also the fourth floor above Grape House. Correct, Hajime. Oh, snap. <laughs> I never expected that the two houses were connected vertically. Sonya, you're a beauty. You are a treasure. But what about the shape of the building? The two houses were completely different shapes. They fit though. Like you can put the rectangles on top of them. Um, Strawberry House is four-sided and Grape House is six-sided, right? Yes. It never occurred to us that they were the same building because it was structured with two different shapes. But you can fit four sides on top of six sides. It's mathematically correct. A quadrilateral and a hexagon overlaid atop each other to misdirect how we would perceive them. Yes. And it worked, didn't it? Disregarding the tower, we fully believe the two houses were two separate, distinct buildings. In order to conceal the unique design of the fun house, Monokuma put us to sleep so we couldn't look at the outside of the building when he brought us to it. You've just been Kumad! 
poop. <laughs> Don't oh, you food. think a building full of so many surprises totally deserves to be called a fun house? <laughs> it's true? The building was really like that? That's right! Those two houses exist on different floors in the same building! Constructing a building like that on your own without my knowledge? H how horrible! Then what about the towers? Are they arranged vertically just like the houses? Yeah, I Strawberry thought, yeah. Tower and Grape Tower should have also been different floors inside the same building. Just like Strawberry House was on top of Grape House, Strawberry Tower was also on top of Grape Tower. However, if they're different floors within the same building, why was Nekomaru's body in both places? Ah, oh, your precious hammies don't know. But it's so simple. Don't insult the hamsters. Don't insult the four dark davis of destruction. You tell us then. Alrighty then, I'll be the one who solves this mystery in a flash. Please watch me, Miss Sonia. <laughs> oh, he just wants to be nervous. I oh, mean, he's still creepy, Sonia. He's creepy. Do whatever you still like. Still creepy, still go. Oh, definitely make her watch me. I'm gonna stand out till she notices me. Oh. Sonya was paying attention. She was like, oh, I see. She just, she's just not interested in you that, you and that I'm way. I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash. Try being a friend before you become a girlfriend. Hurry up, dumbass. Before you become a boyfriend, I mean. One of the bodies okay, okay. in one of the towers was actually a dummy. You mean a fake body? Ooh, fake body. Nekomaru died with a but mechanical think body. So. It would be impossible be to make possible a fake to body of a dummy from spare Necromaru. parts. You're a magnificent Gundam. <laughs> no fair! You totally stole my spotlight. Oh. So which one was a fake body? Shut up! Just pick one of them. Oh, he's so sad. I don't know. But how? They wouldn't have the spare parts. The place I'm gonna solve empty. this mystery in a flash. And so the killer up, rebuilt a whole new Nekomaru? One of the bodies in one of I don't the towers. Think so. Golly, you're actually hamsters? a dummy. You mean a fake body? No. Nekomaru died with a mechanical body. But we didn't It should have be the possible to construct a dummy from spare parts. Where was it? magnificent Gundam. Oh, come on, no Sonya. No fair. You totally stole my spotlight. So which one was a fake body? Shut up! Just pick one of them! It's so cute. Sonya and Gundam are adorable. Whether you see them as friends it's mystery or in a flash. romantically. Then hurry up, dumbass! Yeah, sorry, I had to cut a bunch out because one I just One of the kept bodies in one of the towers was actually it was a dummy! Me forever, so no, that's wrong! That's why I'm, oh, my health is down. <laughs> so I'm being an idiot. Nekomaru's body wasn't a dummy. That can be proven by Kazuichi's account. Exactly. Huh? Me? Remember? When we moved from Grape Tower to Strawberry Tower, we thought the body had moved. And that's when you said... Yeah, how could they... A predict where you would put different parts and arrange them? Right up until that moment, you were disassembling Nekomaru's body at Grape Tower, right? The It'd killer couldn't have known how you'd take apart his body, so they couldn't have built a dummy. Plus, where would they even be able to make a spare Nakamaru? There's no parts inside the fun houses. It was completely empty. Plus, they wouldn't have the mechanical Unless knowledge. Unless Kazuichi was the one who built the dummy, oh, then it oh would no. be a different story. Oh no. <laughs> Miss Sonia, that's a pretty harsh joke. Oh no. <laughs> Getting ratted out by your crush. You are joking, right? It's all right. Kazuichi is not the killer. How how could he? He, if get, he was. He doesn't have the spare parts. He wouldn't have fixed the elevator or the button in Strawberry Hall. That's another good point.
Oh, Sonia, you're hilarious. I'm sorry, Kazumi. She much more just doesn't like the you that way. Stayed broken. Not in this version. Maybe in a fanfic. I see. That is disappointing. <laughs> I'm even more disappointed. However, even if Nekomaru's body wasn't a dummy, it's meaningless if we don't have the important answer. How is his the body reason in two places? Nekomaru's body was in both towers, even though it was supposed to be on different floors. Maybe it was simply moved? The body moved to a different floor? No, you can't think of a device like that? A device that moves things to different floors in the same building? You mean an elevator? Maybe the tower is an elevator. <laughs> I think I got it. The tower itself is an elevator. Okay, okay. I know what I'm spelling out. You don't need L. You don't need V. Oh, come on. Recording so that it can soothe my throat. Elevator! I got it! Yes, you win! You must be talking about an elevator. Correct, what? correct, Amanda. Are you saying Nekomaru's body was transported using an elevator? Yes. Where yes, the hell it. is this elevator anyway? It's the tower itself. The inside of the tower is one big elevator. Correct. Bring forth your reasons to doubt humans. Power to that is me. Which means the tower was designed so that the whole room goes up and down like an elevator. So whether you enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, it all leads to the same room. Right? So that's why we could only enter it from one side or the other. Now that you mention it, sometimes when I pressed the door button, it took a while for it to open. We I see. Assumed. It was We the were floor. basically waiting no for the room to changing. arrive, just like an elevator. But it was actually the room. Please hold on. If the inside of the whole tower ascends and descends like an elevator... Yeah? Shh. Then why is there a picture of a strawberry on the far back door when you enter from Grape Tower? I think those are just for sure. I don't think they're And a real picture doors. of a grape on the far back door when you enter from Strawberry Tower. Hang on, why did no one look through it? When the door to the grape door, the doorknob was broken off, why didn't anyone look through the hole to see if you could see anything? Why did no one do that? If the room just moves up and down like an elevator, there's no reason for the doors to change. The doors aren't real. Plus only the floor moves, not the ceiling.
Plus, after the incident, the far back door and grape. Yeah, but when we, we entered that. Strawberry Tower, those chains were gone. Not just that, but if I remember correctly, even the doorknob was broken off. Yeah, why no one looks <laughs> <laughs> there are too many strange things. Was that tower really an elevator? Yes, but I think only when the full moves. people and things, make sure you focus on the good parts instead of the bad. What did you say? <laughs> so, let's put aside what's changed and focus our attention on what hasn't. Why do we have to do that? It's fine. Come on. What does everything that hasn't changed have in common? I don't know. Oh, um... Includes the body, the pillow, the oil, and now we're talking about the stuff all. What? They were all on the floor! I see! Mm, like, I'm surprised the managed to survive. Is it safe to say that all the items on the floor didn't change? And? And? Why did the picture on the far back door change? If you can figure that out, you'll have the answer. The reason is because that elevator has something unique about it. I need the floors move. Or is it this the fact there's no ceiling? Oh, no, goddammit. Damn it! No, I was right the first time. It was the, the floors. I thought it's because it had no ceiling that it proved that it goes up and down. But it was incorrect. It's the floor. So that's it. The elevator was designed so only the floor moved. Only the floor moved? It had no ceiling, so of course only the floor moved. Which means the whole room wasn't an elevator. Only the floor was. That's why we saw different doors in each tower. Which means on the first floor of Grape Tower, the door on the far back wall had a strawberry design. And on the fourth floor, which was Strawberry Tower, a different door on the far back wall had a grape design. What a then, jerk. where do the different floors lead? They don't lead anywhere. It's all just a trap. I want to say they lead outside, but... They're probably just for show. Well, the grape one might. The one that grape tower, because... Just for show? It's on the bottom floor. Why was something like that necessary? So we'd falsely believe that the doors were connected to where their picture signified. That was a trick. It was actually very effective. Because of that, we totally misunderstood the building's structure. I don't get it. But I guess it means whoever designed this building had a totally twisted personality. Cough, cough. Did you Not hear that, Monami? Don't blame this on me. Take responsibility for yourself. Then I'll take responsibility and gently caress you. Please don't do that. We're children. We're just teenagers. Leave us alone. <laughs> Monami, no. Snap out of it. Don't get Stockholm Syndrome. Like, there's no way that's gonna happen! Stop with the tasteless jokes! By the way, what does the chain on the far back door in Grape Tower mean? It was... probably wrapped there by the killer to keep us as far from Strawberry Tower as possible. Why? Yeah, because we assumed because we could get in. Because of that chain. You guys thought you couldn't enter there, right? If we had never entered Strawberry Tower, we would never realize that they were different buildings. Well, different floors, I mean. The killer destroyed the Strawberry Hall button, so we'd stay away from Strawberry Tower. Everything was done to tamper with the evidence, so we wouldn't find out about the secret of the Funhouse. The appearance of a body in the tower would contradict what we thought we knew about the building. In that situation, if we'd gone to Strawberry Tower, we'd have seen that contradiction firsthand. And using that as a clue, we might have discovered the truth. The truth that the two houses and the two towers are actually one complete vertical building. 
The killer wanted to keep us from learning that. That's why they made us stay away from Strawberry Tower. They destroyed the button and wrapped a chain around the door just for that? Would it really have inconvenienced the killer if we learned the true structure of the building? It would have been a major inconvenience. After all, this funhouse is strongly connected to the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru. I thought... Hold on. You're progressing much too I quickly. The structure of the There's still a contradiction the concerning the building structure. What is that? What a pain. It's fine already. Gundam, please proceed. <laughs> oh, no. God, you so said earlier that Strawberry House and Grape House are connected vertically, right? Yeah, but what about the elevator he's on? If so, how does the contact elevator supposedly transport us from one house to the other? There's also the issue of the hallways. The hallways are on different sides. You mentioned that. Please forget about that matter. If that elevator moves vertically, then what if it when your back is facing the elevator, both towers should be on the same side. Yeah, we thought they were opposite because of the way they seem to does be. Does this reflect reality? Because we thought it was on the. Inside Grape House, Grape Hall is on your right when your back is to the elevator. True. And inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when your back yeah, is to the elevator. Yeah, that's why we thought they were connected, because they were opposites. Which means the houses are on exact opposite sides of the tower. Answer me, fiend! What does this mean? Ah, <laughs> uh, Gundam. What does this mean? Hey, I need to chill. Sorry, my cat's running around like a maniac. The two houses connect the early. The position of the tower should be on the same in both houses. Would you tell? God damn. But in fact, when my back was facing elevator, yeah, we know. My back was facing elevator. Strawberry house, yeah, we know. Gundam literally just said that. How can I break through this contradiction? Maybe the elevator goes around. So, like, the door, strawberry house. And then it goes down and around. That could be it. Um, is it Fihiko's account? No, Kazuichi's account. Because of the, the compass. If the two houses are connected vertically, the elevator should move. Oh god, they're not seeing each other the same. Vertically, so not horizontally. Oh, that's so cute. However, at both houses, if the <sighs> contact elevator is behind you, the towers are in opposite directions! Which means your reasoning... <laughs> they don't, they finish it's each clearly sentences. contradictory! They finish each other's sentences. What's with this iron curtain of teamwork? It's so cute. They're like a power If the two houses couple. are connected vertically... They are a team. The elevator should move. Vertically, not horizontally! But However, at both houses, it. if the contact elevator Maybe is behind the contact you, elevator at, um, the towers are in opposite directions. Maybe I saw a contact elevator at them. It's clearly contradictory. It's either that or it's Kazuichi's account on the What's elevator. What's with this iron curtain of teamwork? If the two houses are connected vertically, the elevator should move okay, vertically, not horizontally. Damn, it wasn't that one. Damn it! It may be. It's Kazuichi's account. Oh god, I failed. Okay, okay. We'll just restart it. This is my. No. We will never to retry. As my health bar slowly refills.
If the two houses are connected vertically... The elevator should move... Vertically, uh, not horizontally! Oh. Uh, come on, come on, yes! yes no, that's it. wrong! Kazuichi said it went around The elevator 180 wasn't degrees. just moving vertically. Isn't that right, Kazuichi? Huh? Me? Yes, Kazuichi, your time to shine. You used the elevator while you were holding that compass Nagito gave you, right? Oh, that. Come on, your turn to shine. Yeah, it was Do pretty it. strange. From start to finish, somehow the compass needle rotated 180 degrees. Rotated 180 degrees? Yes, Meaning, Sonya. as the elevator moved between the two houses, it went up it and It also sideways. rotated 180 degrees. It rolled. It That's why I wasn't making was any noise. It was probably following the building's perimeter as it rotated to the other side. Which means the exit would be on the opposite side once you arrived at the other house, right? Yes. And thanks to that, the tower we saw on our right side when we arrived at Grape House appeared on our left side when we were at Strawberry House. An elevator that rotates while it moves? Is that even possible? It's like something from an amusement park. Well, we are yeah. in a fun house. A fun house is an amusement park attraction, you know. See? And since the building doesn't really need to be structurally practical, it makes for some splendid fun. Uh-huh. It's not splendid at all. You're inhuman. <laughs> you say I'm inhuman, but I'm just a bear. So I was never human to begin with. I'm different from um, these lowly yes, humans. He's so we're done with the secret of the funhouse, right? Then let's start talking about the important stuff. What's the ultimate yeah, weapon that killed whole, Nekomaru? Like, and how they combine it with the pillar? Huh? It's just you about still don't know what the ultimate weapon is yet? It's what I found at the octagon, you know? Oh my god, just tell what is us. the octagon? I haven't heard about that yet. Oh my... I can't believe I have to explain that now. Dude, get over yourself. As long as you know what an octagon means... You can solve this simple mystery easily. Shut up. Um, is it octagon six seven or seven? Crap! No, it's eight seven. I see. I got a little mixed up. If I recall, an octagon is a shape with eight sides, right? I didn't expect you to know that. For what? A simple math for student. You're quite knowledgeable. What? Simple math? You didn't expect me to know what an octagon listening. is. Where is the place befitting of the name Octagon? How stupid do you think reserve students are? We're in high school. Don't know what. Moron. Um, it'd be in between Grape House and Strawberry Rose, right? Right on the final dead room floor, right there. You're talking about the secret room surrounded by concrete in the depths of the final dead room. Why is that place the octagon? You know how the four-sided strawberry house is on top of the six-sided grape house? Yeah, that's where it is. So the first floor strawberry house... If you cut a four-sided shape out of a six-sided one, you get eight edges. It becomes an eight-sided shape. Yes. That's basically the gist of it. The true identity of the octagon is that secret room in the depths of the final dead room. Yes, yes, In yes. actuality, that place contained various weapons. Then the ultimate weapon was there too? That's a little different. I learned the true identity of the ultimate weapon at the octagon. Oh my god, just tell us! Learned? The true identity of the ultimate weapon is the funhouse. Oh. Which means the killer used the building structure as their weapon and killed Nekomaru. someone Nekomaru. use the elevator? Like the, the tower elevator to kill Nekomaru? Like me, the killer, probably realized the secret of the funhouse from the scene. Maybe they use gravity. And then thought of a way to kill, making use of the building structure. Oh, oh, I think I got it. So, okay, um... The funhouse itself is I the I think weapon. I have an idea. So they killed using the building structure? That's why the killer tried to keep us from learning the mystery of the building. But more importantly, using the building itself as a weapon? 
Such a spectacular So what if they hanged him from the doorknob? <laughs> up it in truly deserves to be called the ultimate tower. weapon. And then, and then, they called the elevator down to Grape Tower, and then the force would make Nekom... The floor disappearing under him would make him... Bang, and then he fell because of the force. Okay, we're going to continue this next episode because this is like an hour. Hiya! Well, actually, I'll see. <gasps> it's going to be next episode, okay. This is way too long and I can't do any more right now. So I'm going to save this episode and then the next episode should come out very soon after this one. Bye-bye! Okay, everyone! Thank you for watching! Like or comment or subscribe, whatever you want to do. Tell your friends. Okay. Trial open, trial not open. Bye bye.